machine. What do you use to fix a nail on a wall? Your hands or a hammer? Like hammer, we use many tools in our everyday life that make our work easier and faster. These tools are called machines. Machines may be simple or complex. Simple machines are tools that have very simple structure and that make our work easier and faster. Complex machines consist of two or more simple machines that work together. For example, a knife and scissors are simple machines while a sewing machine and washing machine are complex machines. There are six types of simple machines. Lever, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw, wedge and pulley. Simple machines either change the direction of force applied or increases the force applied. Lever. A lever is a rigid rod that can move freely around a fixed point. It consists of three parts, fulcrum, load and effort. Fulcrum is the fixed point around which the lever moves. Load is the object on which work is being done. Effort is the force applied on the lever. For example, the man is trying to lift the boulder using a lever. Here, the boulder is the load, force applied by the man is the effort, and the small rock on which the rod is fixed is the fulcrum. There are three classes of levers on the basis of position of fulcrum, load and effort. First class lever. In first class lever, fulcrum is located between the load and the effort. A pair of scissors, seesaw, crowbar and plier are examples of first class lever. Second class lever. In second class lever, load is located between the fulcrum and the effort. Wheelbarrow, Nut cracker and bottle opener are examples of second class lever. Third class lever. In third class lever, effort is located between the load and the fulcrum. Stapler, fishing rod and tongs are examples of third class lever. Wheel and axle. A wheel and axle consists of a wheel attached to a rod called an axle. When the axle is turned, the wheel also moves. The steering wheel of a car, screwdriver, sewing machine and doorknob are examples of wheel and axle. All the vehicles have wheel and axle. Inclined plane. An inclined plane is a slope. Less effort is needed to move an object up through an inclined plane as compared to lifting it up straight. Ramp, staircase, slide and roads in hilly regions are examples of inclined planes. Screw. A screw is an inclined plane wound around a rod to form a spiral. It helps to hold things tightly. A screw can be easily driven into a foot. Screw jack, drilling machine and nut bolts are examples of screw. You can find screws on electric bulbs and jars too. Wedge. A wedge has two inclined planes put together to form a sharp thin edge. A nail, fork, 
knife and an axe are examples of wedge. Pulley A pulley is a wheel with a grooved rim so that a rope or chain can run around it. A pulley changes the direction of force applied. A pulley can be of two types. Fixed pulley and movable pulley. Fixed pulley In a fixed pulley, the axle is fixed to a support. It is used for drawing water from a well and raising a flag to the top of a flagpole. Movable pulley Movable pulley is used in combination with a fixed pulley. It is used to lift heavy loads.